Good morning, guys. It's 10 to 7, and we are off. We have that appointment today. I had to stop for a minute. We had to get gas. Because, of course, we didn't have any. Um, so, it's close to 7. I have that appointment for my gallbladder today. And that's at 7.15, so we're on our way there. I can't find the damn paper that I'm supposed to bring with me. I think I'm supposed to bring the paper. I don't know, but I lost it. So, that's that. No coffee. Dun, dun, dun. We made it, guys. I'm just now getting out of that appointment. Nine past ten. So it takes a couple of hours. Um, it wasn't too bad. The worst part was probably the second part where they inject the stuff to make your gallbladder contract. So it makes you like nauseous and crampy and stuff, but it wasn't too bad. So we are out. I think the second worst thing is this. I don't understand why they use this damn tape. The tape is worse than the IV. <laughs> but it's nice out. It's 69 right now. I just just walked out. And it was, um, the sun was out and, and everything else. So, very nice. We're gonna go get some coffee and head home. What are you doing, handsome? You're such a handsome dog. We're home. I've been talking to my aunt for a while. Every time I talk to my aunt, my phone dies. Ugh. I'm trying to plug it in, but it ain't working. On the charger here. I hardly ever use my phone, so I hardly ever charge it. So when I talk to her, it's usually got one bar left, and then it goes night-night. I was just trying to get some things picked up around here. Got the dishwasher going, laundry going. I got a couple of little things to show you guys. I got it at the um, thrift store yesterday. It's a really nice out. All the bees are out. And I don't know if... Let me show you guys. See this flag right here? I love this flag. You can't see the other part because it's folded, but it's a sunflower and the American flag's in the middle of it. But the bees keep landing on... That sunflower right there. So I don't know if it's because it's yellow or they think it's a sunflower. <laughs> Does that sound stupid? <laughs> but they keep landing on it. And then leaving when, you know, they realize there's nothing there. <laughs> Hi. Pretty. See the flag? It's so pretty. The trees are starting to get little buds on them. Very nice out today. It's about 70 right now. Look at that dirty toy. Milo's got a toy pulled from the yard. It's a perfect day to do yard work, but I have so much to do inside that I really need to stay inside and get that stuff done. So we're going to work on that. Try to get some of my craft area together that I'm in the process of moving downstairs. So let me show you guys what I found at the thrift store yesterday. Just a couple of things. I found these little teeny gravy boats. Aren't they cute? Thought they would be perfect for when we do holiday dinners. I can put one at each place setting. So they had, let me see, four. So there's ten here. They were $1.49. Um, I don't know, they're priced kind of weird. $1.49 for these two. Oh, maybe because there's only three there. And $1.99 for these four, but she just priced it at $1.49. And then I found these, which I was all excited about, because these are actually really expensive in, like, Hallmark or the paper store. Places like that. Or some of those little country stores. They carry this. This is that. Uh, where is it? I bet this is from that store that closed, actually. 
I forget what the heck these are called. Is this it? I don't know. Um, Hannah and Morgan's mom collects these. She's got a whole bunch of them and they're so cute. So I found these ones. These were the ones that weren't chipped or broke. And they were 99 cents a piece, so that was really good. I thought these would be cute to put out on our, when I decorate for 4th of July and stuff like that. This one has a little bird in it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so cute. This is that one, and this one has the American flag. And this one. Hmm. And this one. Very cute. So that was all I picked up yesterday there. And I need to get some stuff downstairs done. I haven't done any more on moving my craft room down there. One, because it's just a disaster and overwhelming. And two, because I seem not to be getting any help with it. From the two children, which actually, I should stop calling them that because they're really getting up there in age. But I don't seem to be getting any help from them. And they're the ones that are need in this room so I think they can help that's a stupid Easter candy thing going off in that bag but you see it's a pretty big mess Here's some of my goodies from you guys I have ugh, this is Calvin's package I have a couple more packages somewhere in this mess for a couple of you I, it's just it's awful it's awful it's really overwhelming and it needs to be dealt with so I showed you I showed you guys this right remember I went through all this making the top for my desk then Dave has well we have um, we know somebody that does amazing things with wood carving and stuff like that and he just made this for me nice and smooth and it's got nice little edges that's my desktop now but this is what we're working with not very good and it's just like I said it's so overwhelming like you know where the hell do you start I guess don't think about it and just start <laughs> so I just brought this basket down from upstairs some of the Easter stuff which I never even showed you guys Maybe, I, st I still have to show you the um, spring stuff. So, I'm telling you. I'm trying to keep up on the videos, but I'm just still so behind on everything. But I really think that once I get this organized, I'll be able to have everything else organized a little bit better. So, lots to do, guys. I don't even know if I should plant myself down here and start this or if I should do some cleaning upstairs. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, I need some kind of bin to put stuff in that needs to go out to you guys. Ah, what a mess. The Christmas tree fell over. <laughs> All right, I don't know. I'm going to try to figure something out here. I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> we got some stuff done, though. I got a couple of bins um, organized and put back where they go. Holiday stuff. I got the little couch moved over here, which is around the idea of where it's going to be. And I got all the books where they go. They're not organized, but they where they go for now. And I got to push this little couch, I mean, brr, the bigger couch back, so I put that little rug there. Well, it's not little, it's a runner. So, we're getting some stuff done. Not bad. Quick lunch. Ham and cheese. This bread is great from Trader Joe's. It's that shepherd's bread or something. 
that stuff. Justin's leaving. This is great. Oh look, we're back at square one where everything fit except for one suitcase. What's in here? Anything break out? Everything is pretty out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and look, and there's still a big cat. Exactly. Didn't think. This could go on for hours. I'm gonna record this. Can I? Please. Just so I can refer to this every single time. I had everything under control. And what happened, Chris? That's what happened. You got it all in? Oh, except for the big duffel bag. <laughs> Yay. Have fun, guys. Is there going to be any adults there? <laughs> oh, they are? Oh, I didn't know they were going to be there. Oh, yeah. They have to be, or else. They're already asking what they want us to do for lunch, what they want us, what we want for dinner. Oh. They're like spaghetti roast. That's so sweet. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Justin, you watch your mouth. Speed. I'll know. <laughs> you know, the four of you probably should have your seatbelts on once you get on that highway. Okay. Yeah, right? Don't you feel weird? Because you're used to me too. And have fun. There he goes. Hey guys, just got home from picking Brooke up, starting dinner. We are having chicken enchiladas. Cooked them a little different this time. I actually baked the chicken in the oven with um, oil, the garlic powder, and paprika. I just broke my nail. Really shot too. I mean, it hurts. Random. I'm just heating up some rice to put on the bottom of the pan. It's still extremely nice out. I got all the windows open. It's um... Last time I looked I think it said 75. So it is nice out. I thought I had more bags of the rice I wanted to use for this dish, but I don't. We used them another time. So I had to heat up some of this stuff.
stuff that I buy that I usually eat for lunch or something like that. But it's the same, white rice. It will do fine. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And that is enchilada sauce. And I'm probably going to throw some, a couple scoops of cream cheese on top of the enchiladas. Well, then I forgot to show you guys before I put them in the oven. But they're in the oven. And I'm going to make some vegetarian ones. So these are the tortillas I got from Trader Joe's. And I was going to just do cheese enchiladas, but I don't know. That's just so boring. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick some cheese, some tomatoes, um, and beans. That's what I'll do. Too bad I... Oh, yeah, I do have more rice. Maybe I'll stick some rice in them, too. I have some brown rice. Which I am not a fan of, but when it's mixed with all the other stuff. It will be fine. There it is. I should show you guys or tell you guys. I um, I got this cheese. Did I get this? The Trader Joe's. Oh no! Now I can't remember. Yeah, Trader Joe's. And usually I buy the this brand from you know the regular local grocery store but this I tried for the first time from Trader Joe's and it's really good like that stuff I mean you know it, it works it does the job but it doesn't taste fantastic this stuff even melts and it, it it's pretty good tastes pretty good there we have it they might have made too many so we got cheese on the bottom brown rice uh, a few slices of the heirloom tomatoes, a couple of slices of, well, very thinly sliced white onion, and then beans, and a little more cheese. And these I'll just heat up in the microwave. The other ones are in the oven baking. I'll probably put some salsa and sour cream on top. I'm kind of hungry now. Hi, Brooke.